So we're here down in Porfili Oyster Farm today to do some cooking, specifically to demonstrate the unique sharp properties of the card sharp. I'm going to be cooking some fish today, beautiful Cornish fish on a lovely sunny Cornish day, uh, but I haven't got any fish, so I need some fish. I'm on it chef, give me two minutes, I'll be back. Okay, so we've got our fish, and now we're gonna use the card sharp to gut, scale, and fillet them. I'm not gonna use the sharp bit, I'll just use the back of the blade, and you can see the scales just flicking off. But you know, you've only got a little knife, and it's rigid enough to take the scales off a basque. And then we're gonna take his guts out, and you just cut from his anus, as it were, up through, and there's a tough bit of bone here, but the card sharp will just whip through it, because it's as sharp as a surgical implement. Easy, removed, nice clean fish. You can buy so many expensive filleting knives and products on the market, but this, I reckon, will glide through this fish. Just cut a sort of smile around his head. Just work the knife along the bones. And the tricky bit of bass is going over the, um, going around the rib cage here. You need a very, very sharp knife. But you can see it's left nothing. There's no flesh left on there. It's just skeleton. We've got a nice little bass fillet. So we're going to make a, a little sauce to go with our bass I'm going to cook first. I'm going to do bass with beurre blanc. And a beurre blanc is just, it's like a butter sauce. But you just reduce some vinegar with some shallot. The real reason for doing this is to show you the, the sort of sharpness of this knife. It's making mincemeat of it. Look at it. With a good expensive Japanese knife, you can get that kind of result. Put my shallot into my pan, and I put a dash of vinegar in there, just white wine vinegar, and reduce that down. And then, just growing in the rocks here, we saw rock samphire. I'm gonna just chuck a couple of blades of that. Some mustard seeds as well, in with the vinegar. I bought a potato along because what I wanted to do is really, really thin, like tiny slivers, would really show off just how sharp this knife is. And look at that. It's almost like tissue paper thin. We can almost see through her. Amazing. Good bit of Cornish wind there, blowing my flame out. Is that gonna work? So cooking fish, tend to um, oil the, uh, the skin up a little bit and don't put too much oil in the pan. What a lot of people do these days is they, they just score the skin to get a nice flat fillet. And then it also allows you to get a bit of, bit of seasoning in there, a bit of salt. This is gonna save the day. Beautiful. Oh yes, now she's cooking. Now we're cooking on gas. I'm gonna get my potato out of the reduction unit and add those to the pan. Get a bit of butter in there as well. Oh yeah. And for the sauce, I'm just gonna um, get some cubed butter. Now I've got a nice little reduction here. So that's shallot and samphire and vinegar. And to that you add a little dash of cream, double cream to give. And you kind of whisk cubed butter into the sauce. But being out in the field, we haven't got a whisk with us so we'll just improvise with a spoon finishing the sauce with a bit of finely diced samphire tastes great i'm just going to wilt some spinach in, in all those flavors just to tie it all together that's about right once we've got our spinach i'm going to rest our fish up against that like that we've got a little pile of beautiful potato crisps and that's a samphire beurre blanc sea bass and wilted spinach with potato chips. Simple as that. 